Welcome students to Lesson 1, Festivals in Southeast Asia. In this lesson, we are only going to discuss four different Southeast Asian festivals. Southeast Asia's spirituality, tradition, and color make it one of the best places on earth for festivals. Although there are many festivals, religious or secular, celebrated in different towns and cities, we will focus on the festivals that are most popular. Many of them represent the diverse arts and culture of Southeast Asia. Songkran Festival The Songkran Festival, one of Thailand's well-known cultural festivals, is a celebration of the Buddhist New Year. Beginning in April, the festival is when revelers go to Thailand's major streets and engage in the biggest friendly water fight in the world. The partying crowds, regardless of age and gender, also rub brightly colored talc or chalk on one another. Armed with buckets, containers, and water guns, some use water hoses, festival participants indiscriminately bless all people whom they encountered in the streets. This friendly throwing of water, which symbolizes Songkran's spring cleaning aspect, is also considered a means to pay respect to others. Traditionally, the rubbing of talc or chalk is also practiced by monks for blessings. Thaipusam Festival The Thaipusam Festival is held in January or February by Hindu devotees in many parts of the world. This festival has the strongest following among Malaysians and Singaporeans. While Thaipusam festival is a time when men give thanks for all answered prayers, this is not for the squeamish as male festival participants carry kavadis, which are steel racks attached to the body, with skewers that pierce the skin. Thaipusam is a demonstration of how devoted Hindus are to the Lord Murungan. Warning: Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Pierce devotees with many undergoing trans light faces believe that the practice of skin piercing cleanses their souls of sins. In Malaysia, the festival is centered on the Batu Caves where you'll find the world's second largest statue of Lord Murungan. In Singapore, participants walk from temple to temple. Senulog Festival The Senulog Festival in Cebu City honors the image of the Santo Niño. Spirited street dancers wearing colorful costumes fill the streets every Sunday of January to perform the traditional Senulog dance. In this dance, participants move to the beat of the drums, assembling the Senulog or the water current. According to historians, the Senulog Dance Festival links the Filipinos' pagan past to their Christian present. Before the Spanish colonization, the natives were already dancing the Senulog to worship their wooden deities or anitos. The tradition continued when the colonizers came, but it has now changed to reflect the reverence to the Santo Niño as Christianity became the predominant religion of the natives. Waisak Festival Waisak Festival is the most sacred day in Buddhism as it celebrates the birth of Buddha and his enlightenment as well as his attainment of Nirvana. This festival is celebrated in many Buddhist countries around the world, but the one in Borobudur in Java, Indonesia is perhaps the most remarkable. Borobudur, one of the region's most renowned cultural sites, has the largest Buddhist temple in the world. One of the highlights is the procession of monks from Mendut to Pawan and then finally to Borobudur. 
As the full moon rises, pilgrims light candles and offer flowers. Then, they pray and chant. And that ends our lesson for today. As we discovered, that Southeast Asia has a very rich culture and tradition, which are best reflected in their festivals. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something.